Welcome back. In this video, I want to talk to you about a big question that I keep seeing in multiple forms over my uh, my email list, and people keep going down the rabbit hole of thinking that 3D reality is going to show them exactly what they wished for, or exactly who they are at the exact time they want to manifest whatever they want to manifest. So here's here's my take on this. The 3D is an illusion. We are living in a simulation. There is no out there. There's only in here. Do you understand? Okay. If you think that out there is going to set you free or bring your desires to you, you're absolutely wrong. And you're fooling yourself. And you're going to keep going down that spiral of BS forever. If you want your SP, if you want that nice house, if you want riches, all those things have to, they have to begin from within. For me, on my journey, the roughest part of my life was maintained and pushed through with meditation. That's why I offer free meditation that I still use often. It's wonderful. I love it. If you don't like it, if you don't dig it, I would recommend making your own meditation just on your phone. Make a guided meditation for yourself. Hear your own voice. Piece of cake. And... What I've found with most of my clients, they, how do I put this? They're too delusional about the wrong things. Be delusional about the right things, which are the outside world, how things will happen in your life, what will happen in your life. Nothing is going to happen exactly how you imagine it. Nothing. All those big things, all those dreams that you want, you have no idea how they're going to come into fruition. You have no idea. Your only job, I've spoken about this a lot, and this is what I always tell my clients when I hear this out there, out there analogy of when, what, when and how and all that, all that bullshit. It's not your job to do that. Take the burden off of your soul. All you have to do is live it. Live the dream. Just live it. Live your life in the most epic, passionate way, healthiest way that you can do, that you can muster. And I think one of the greatest gifts that we have, I always quote Bashar because he is just master teacher. I love it. Whether you believe channeling is real or not, everything that entity says is freaking on point. But he says, life is inherently meaningless. And it is. Not in a negative connotation, in a very positive way, actually. Because what that does, hold on a second. What that does is it gives us the opportunity to put whatever meaning we want to life. And this is, this is why a lot of people stumble. They're doing affirmations, they're doing meditations, they're doing subliminals, they're doing all this stuff. But those are just tools that we use to get into that center neutral space. And that space needs to be maintained throughout your life. You don't just waver off of that. It doesn't happen. Because it's not you. It's not your true being. We have to just live the dream. Put in the order and freaking forget about it. Just forget about it. Allow your higher faculties to take over and run your life behind the scenes. Because, surprise, surprise, that's happening right now. Your subconscious is running your life behind the scenes. And up until this point, if you were like me, it's not going very well. And I know what that feels like. But you have to take this step. This is so crucial. It is your doing not your fault. It's not a fault. It is your doing. Now that you know that, 
And now that you're aware of that, take your choice. Maybe make your choice. Just make the choice of positivity. Choose positivity, even if it's a negative experience. Now, I've seen a lot of people in my life go through what they would call, and myself, extremely negative experiences, like monumentally life-changing experiences. And at the moment, I know it's hard to look at it in a positive way because it hurts and it sucks. And you're like, what the fuck am I going to do? But every single time and every single one of these people, when I gave them this advice, they didn't freaking believe me at all. They were like, how can this be positive? How? But over time, they realized it was extremely positive because the monumental change that happened gave them opportunities that he never, ever would have been able to see or even witness for them to take if it weren't for this circumstances of negative things that happened. But you don't have to go through all of the trials and tribulations to realize this in the moment. In the moment, you can decide. It's pretty well known. Science has shown us this. We are beings of light. At the subatomic level, we are literally light waves shifting billions of times per second. That is a fact. Since you are shifting, you cannot perceive it with your physical body because the physical being is extremely limited. We're extremely limited. We can't perceive ourselves shifting billions of times per second because of our physical condition. But that's okay. Because now you know. Now you know. At every single moment, you have the absolute best choice. And, you know, I know when I say that, people are like, but it's hard. But, 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 but. Look, just realize that it's way more difficult to accept this information and make changes. Look, I got a little worm hanging from my camera. Little buddy. It's way harder to make these changes if you don't first understand that bringing yourself, for one second, bringing yourself to that centered space makes it incredibly easy, incredibly easy. Through meditation, we can get there. We can become truly the I am, the, who, the, the person that we are with no name. No birthday, no skin color, no sex, no gender, whatever, nothing. None of that exists there. And from this place, we can, we can program our reality to bend to our will. And to get back to the subject here, 3D reality, it doesn't freaking matter. It doesn't matter if, it, if things change. It doesn't matter if you see the changes happen. It matters that you did it from within. And having 100% complete faith that that is your path. Is it your path? Is it your purpose in life? Is it your passion? Are you following your greatest excitement? You know when you are inside. When you reconnect with the spiritual being, you just freaking know. And... I hate to say this, I really hate to say this, but look, if you don't start to accept the truth of who you are, you will be overrun by society, by TV, by the news, you will live in a state of fear, you will live in a state of lack, forever. I don't care if you think that lack is financial, it's not. It can be, but ultimately lack is lacking abundance of your pure light, of the awareness of your pure light being. This is what I want for you. This is my goal in this video. This might be a little bit of a tangent. 
My goal in this video is to let you know. You don't have to hold the burden and stress of 3D reality. It's only up to you to have fun and live life like a freaking kid. Do you remember when you were a kid? No worries. I mean, when I was a kid, it was a little bit different. I would go out all freaking day and I would just do shit outside all the time. And things happened in my life that were awesome. I don't remember being a child and having like really, really bad experiences. Like I had some really off kilter experiences because uh, my family owned a funeral business and I grew up in that sort of surroundings. And still, when I look back on that, none of it was like negative. It was all a very positive learning experience for me. And a lot of people will look at that and be like, oh my God, you were surrounded by death. You were surrounded by so many people mourning and grieving, and yeah, I was. I was. As a child, five, six years old. Oh yeah, dressing up in a little kid suit, walking around, watching families that I've never seen before, mourn over lost ones, but they didn't understand. Now I know that nothing is lost. Nothing is lost. This physical being can be destroyed, but your essence is infinite. It cannot be destroyed. Pure energy can only be transformed. Transferred. Okay? And I think that's very important to know. Um, it's all up to you. As we grow older, we get bogged down by beliefs, you know, that are created by our outside conditions, our outside circumstances, people in our lives, adults. And through these beliefs, they start to create uh, massive trains of thought, massive trains of thought that some people don't even know that they don't prefer it. They have no idea. They think that it's just hunky-dory and this is the way it is. It absolutely is not. It absolutely is not the way it is. <laughs> I, if I would never have found meditation, I don't know what would have happened to me. I don't know. I would probably, I, I don't even know. I can't even comprehend that. Meditation brought me to better levels of consciousness, to higher levels of consciousness, to greater levels of awareness. That, that is truly what I want for you. And that is what I want for everybody that I work with. That's the goal. Higher levels of consciousness, higher levels of awareness. Because without this, you're just a leaf in the wind. I love that analogy. I think I've said it freaking hundreds of times in my videos. You can't be a leaf in the wind. In meditative practices, you can. Because that's your true being. That centeredness. That ever-flowing, oscillating energy that is truly our spirit, our consciousness. In the 3D reality, in the physical realm, that's not how we do it. And that's not what you want to do. Because that is a recipe for disaster. You're going to wake your ass up. You're going to sit down on the edge of your bed, in the chair, in the couch, and you're going to meditate. Two minutes. One minute. It honestly really doesn't matter. It really doesn't freaking matter. As long as you start. I've said this so many times. And this is not a gimmicky trick. It literally does take seconds to shift your consciousness. It takes seconds. As soon as you make the choice, become aware of things that are ruling you, which happens almost immediately in meditative practices, you've shifted into a new you because we're shifting billions of times per second anyway. You have that opportunity. So you might be saying, well, Dre, you walk around and smoke cigars, you drink coffee. Yeah, I do. But I don't do it right when I wake up in the freaking morning. That is your time to set your goddamn mind right. I'm so dead serious about this. This will change your freaking life if you just do this for a little while. I talked to so many people. Uh, recently, I've been running a power hour. I'll leave it in the description if you want to join. It's just an hour of coaching because I know a lot of people don't want to commit to a month, two months, three months. So I've made it easy for you. Easy. Just do this. And this is a lot of the stuff I work with is just doing this in the beginning. Force yourself to get out of that monkey mind 
and center and just become present and aware and neutral, non-judgmental, become the true I am, the true consciousness. When you do this, like I said, it's going to be a little bit difficult if you've never done this before. That's okay. Just keep freaking pushing through it. Nothing is going to come easy. There are a few things that you can do that are easy and you can get results for sure. But think about it. Learning to ride a bike, learning to tie your freaking shoe. You never got it the first time. Like, it takes a little bit, but then it's supernatural. It's supernatural. That's what you'll that's where you'll get to. So I work with people on energy awareness and it depends on where they're at. If they haven't meditated before in their lives, you start there. But if they have been meditating and are having trouble, then I go into aligning chakras. And I know a lot of manifesting coaches, which I agree with them. I agree with them. But I do this, I do I take it to another level. Manifesting coaches will tell you you don't have to heal, you don't have to do shadow work, you don't have to heal your chakras, none of that stuff. To manifest. To manifest. Okay? That is absolutely true. Because they're only talking about manifestation. I am talking about healing. Okay? We can align our energy centers of our body for greater healing. Okay? You don't have to do that to manifest. That's where we differ. Manifesting is one thing. Healing the energetic self. Taking a hold of the reins and... You can literally go inside, and I, I like to put it this way, this is, this is the best analogy I could ever come up with, probably because I've played music for so long. You have seven chakras. There are seven notes in a musical scale. Interesting, isn't that? That's very interesting. Now, listen to this. If you were to play an instrument, and all of the strings, or all of the notes, sorry, I'm a guitar player, all of the notes are out of tune, that instrument's not going to sound very good. Same with your body. You must tune the instrument. If you tune the instrument, things will change in your life very drastically. Not just, I want to manifest a car, I want to manifest love. No, it's not like that. Those, those videos, like, there's some really good guys out there. There's some really good guys out there. Uh, Be Something Wonderful is good. The power, I am, the power of I Am is really good. Eric's freaking awesome. Uh... Shit, I can't remember. Anything. Your universe is a good one. They're very popular. Um, there's some good ones, and they're, they're like <laughs> they're saying it like it is. They're they're no holds barred, and they're telling you like it is. But they're really only talking about manifesting. They're not talking about uh, energy awareness, energy alignment, and I think that's a very crucial part of us becoming a complete whole human being in this existence. And I've seen with so many people who they get they get good with the meditation and they know how to stay in that centered space for a period of time without being wavered. After you do this, you can go in and align. You can focus on your root chakra, sacral chakra. You can find blocks. You can find hang-ups, trauma around being secure, being safe, being rooted, being grounded. I went through this. I didn't feel safe growing up. I didn't feel grounded or rooted or secure. My root chakra is the energy cell that handles these things. So when I found out about all this and I started studying it, I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta, I gotta heal my root chakra. You know, it's not about to have to, but it greatly improves your life because I've seen it happen to myself and other clients. So I did specific meditations for just my root chakra. And oh my God, pain, pain in my lower back went away. Pain in my abdomen went away when I started doing sacral chakra meditation, which is the uh, chakra just above your root chakra, which your root chakra is at the base of your tailbone. And your sacral chakra is just above that, like right kind of above where your bladder is. So creativity, sexuality, 
that is where your sacral chakra comes in. And for the longest time, I was I was teaching guys about semen retention and blocks with loving themselves so that they could actually find, you know, a girlfriend or somebody else to share life with. And sacral chakra become became my kind of like go to another little worm. Uh, my go to chakra. Oops, sorry. That I would use and teach with guys, and I even made a whole sacral chakra course. Did I did away with all that because I thought there was a better way to help, and that is through meditation, because that's just numero uno. So what I want you to do is just start. Just start. That's it. Sit your ass down and meditate. Grab the meditation in the description. It will totally, totally get you in that space that I speak of. And, you know, there's thousands of them online. If you don't want mine, go get somebody else's online. No big deal. No big deal. If you want coaching, I offer that. Power Hour in the description. After you center yourself, after you do that, this was a big one for me. I used to be a huge pothead, and as soon as I woke up, I would have a joint ready right by my nightstand because I could not face reality. I couldn't face myself. Don't do that. Coffee is the same thing. Smoking a cigar, same thing. But I'm talking about directly in the morning after you wake up because of your brainwave states. Whoop, keep blocking the camera. Here, I'll slip you. When you wake up, when you first become aware that you're conscious, you're in theta, this is the prime time to center yourself. Because your thoughts that are created by your beliefs have not really come online. And you can kind of like... You're under the radar with it, so you can kind of like jump into a meditation, center yourself, and then all those thoughts and beliefs that you don't agree with that aren't you, that you should be choosing throughout the day to not uh, uh, latch onto emotionally. Becoming aware of them is one thing. Latching onto them emotionally is your fault. That is a fault. That is, an, that is a mistake. Because you're aware of them. So you might be saying, well, how do I become aware of them? Just meditate. They're there. You don't have to try. I've worked with people who have gone through uh, war, who have been in the military. I've worked with women who have been uh, severely traumatized through... Uh, how, how do I put this without YouTube uh, censoring me? Sexual abuse? <laughs> or... Uh, physical abuse and this was great for them because they knew that as soon as they got up the shit was going to hit the fan they knew they, they like did some some of these people wouldn't even go to sleep because of it because they knew that the morning was going to suck so bad and this is how i worked them through this you gotta first understand that there are different states that our brain goes through. And theta, delta is pure slumber. Theta is groggy, just when we wake up, which is the state we come to in deep meditation. Even if you've been awake, say you went and freaking rode your bike, you're huffing and puffing, you get home, you can calm your body down into theta through meditative practices and breathing. Just breathing and sitting there with your eyes closed doing nothing like that right there should blow your mind you don't have to do anything it's all there for you all right i looked it up so i don't butcher for you here it goes man's chief delusion is his own conviction that there are causes other than his own state of consciousness neville goddard think about that your consciousness truly creates your reality if you go inside you can take control of your life. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Everybody, there's so many new people. Welcome. And thanks for watching the videos. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm going to walk around this park, smoke a cigar, and head home. Have some lunch. I'll see you in the next video, my friend. Peace.